today i will explain detectors used in uv visible spectrophotometer so let's start in uv visible spectrophotometer detectors measure transmitted light computer and software will convert transmittance into absorbance by the formula a is equal to log i0 upon it here the relation between transmittance and absorbance is inverse if the transmittance is 100% absorbance will be zero by using this relation and uh, the formula detector and software will convert transmitted light into absorbed light now there are four types of detectors used in uv visible spectrophotometer the first detector is barrier layer cell or photovoltaic cell second detector is photo tube third one is photo multiplier tube fourth detector is silicon photodiode now we'll see each detector in detail the first detector used is barrier layer cell this detector is a simple type of detector it do not require power supply but it gives out current which is directly proportional to incident light it means that barrier layer cell do not require external supply of current or power supply but when light hit the surface of barrier layer cell it itself generate a current and the amount of current generated will be proportional to the light hitting to the detector now this detector has three metal layers the first metal layer is of iron this iron metal plate will act as one electrode this iron metal plate is coated with selenium metal which is a semiconductor material selenium metal is coated with very thin layer of gold or silver now this gold or silver layer will act as second electrode that is collector electrode now iron and gold are two electrodes and they are connected with each other through a external circuit when light ray hit the surface of barrier layer cell or gold layer electrons will be generated at the interface between gold and selenium and these electrons generated due to light rays hitting this electron will start flowing towards the gold layer and once the electron start flowing towards the gold and if the resistance of external circuit is low the current will start produced current will start flowing this amount of current is measured by galvanometer the amount of current produced in this barrier layer cell will be proportional to the radiations hitting to the uh, detector this is uh, this is a simple type of detector but the thing is that this detector is not used in sophisticated uv visible spectrophotometers because its sensitivity is low instead of that it is used in simple type of instrument like colorimeter now we'll go for second detector that is photo tube or photo emissive cell this detector has evacuated a glass bulb uh, a glass evacuated glass bulb is present in this glass bulb there is a half cylindrical metal cathode whose inner surface is coated with light sensitive layer of cesium or potassium or silver oxide that means a photo cathode is present here whose inner surface is a light sensitive surface a metal ring is present at the center of bulb which will act as anode now there is a collector anode and there is a photo cathode and these are connected with each other through the external circuit a amplifier is also required here now this is overall construction of photo tube how this photo tube works then when radiation hit the surface of photo cathode whose uh, inner surface is coated with cesium oxide or potassium oxide or silver oxide when light ray is hitting to the photo cathode the cathode will eject electrons and these electrons will get attracted towards anode 
Now once the electrons start flowing in between cathode and anode, the current will start flowing uh, through the external circuit and this current is amplified by amplifier. Now the amount of current generated in this detector will be proportional to the light ray hitting to the surface of cathode. This is more sensitive detector than the barrier layer cell. Uh, these are the ray diagrams of a barrier layer cell. This one is the actual photograph of, sorry, it is the diagram of phototube and the actual pictures of phototube. Now we'll go for third type of detector that is photomultiplier tube. Now this detector is most popular and sensitive detector. This has an evacuated glass tube or quartz tube. It has a photo emissive cathode. A cathode is photo cathode is present whose inner surface is a, a light sensitive material. Whose inner surface is coated with light sensitive material, like the previous detector has. It has eight to ten photo emissive dynodes, or we can say uh, electron emissive dynodes. Actually, these are. Uh, Anodes, these are number of plates present in photomultiplier tube which are known as dynodes. Each dynode has positive voltage difference. The voltage difference between each two dynode is 75 to 100 volts. Positive voltage difference is there. Uh, this has finally a collector anode. And this is a scintillator chamber. Now how this is overall construction of photomultiplier tube which has photocathode which has emissive dynodes which has collector anode and a scintillation chamber. Now how this photomultiplier tube works when the light ray incident upon the photocathode it emits 2 to 5 electrons. Each electron is attracted towards the first diode and it emits 2 to 5 electron for each streaking electron. It means that when light ray hit the surface of photocathode, it will start emitting electrons. And these electrons are focused towards the first diode. Now when electron streak the surface of first diode, for each one electron, that first dynode will emit 2 to 5 electrons. That means number of electron will be more. Now these secondary electrons which are emitted by the dynode will get attracted towards the second dynode. And same way second dynode will also emit more number of electron for each electron and these electrons will get attracted towards third dynode and the process will go on the number of electrons will get increased as they hit the next dynode and finally the anode will receive a burst of electrons because each dynode is increasing the number of electrons and that's why the electrons reaching to the anode will be very large in number that means amplification of electron will occur in the photomultiplier tube itself and that's why the name multiplier tube in this way photomultiplier tube work now this is most sensitive detector uh, it's uh, it is most popular also this detector uh, has response time 10 raised to minus 9 second but the thing is that it should be protected from stray light and one more thing is that it is expensive detector so uh, in this way uh, the photomultiplier tube works this is the diagram of photomultiplier tube and the real pictures of photomultiplier tube now we'll go for the fourth detector that is silicon photodiode. This is the more sensitive detector than photomultiplier tube. 
but the thing is um, that it is also expensive detector it is more expensive than the photo multiplier a photo tube uh, sorry a photo diode is a pn junction diode that converts light energy into electric current sometimes it is also called as photo detector light detector or photo sensor also this diode is very sensitive to light so when light falls on the diode it is easily it easily changes light into electric current now silicon photodiode how the construction is uh, in silicon photodiode pn junction diode is formed by administering one side of one side of piece of silicon with p type material that is boron and other side of silicon with n type material that is phosphorus that means a piece of silicon is selected here and that piece of silicon one corner of uh, that silicon is dipped in boron uh, and uh, which is p type of material and one corner is dipped in phosphorus which is n type of material so the silicon uh, will convert into two layers that is p type silicon and n type silicon now due to this uh, deflection layer will be produced in between these two p type silicon and n type silicon which is also called as pn junction this detector will be having a mask of silicon oxide and a coating of sili silicon nitride this diode works in reverse bias condition it means that the p side of photodiode is associated with negative terminal of battery and n side is connected to the positive terminal of battery it works on reverse bias mode now how it works when light ray hit the surface of diode electrons will generated in the deflection layer and the current will flow between the electrodes p type and uh, n type silicon this is how it works silicon photodiode i hope you understood uh, these concepts thank you for watching my video thank you very much